Assalamu alaikum. I was teaching one of the lessons of social studies to my son, Shamil Farooq. And then I thought uh, I should share it with you all also. Okay, then let's start learning with me. It's a social studies grade 7 book. And it's lesson number 2, denudation. Today we'll learn about this. Okay, uh, students, I will guide you and uh, I will prefer always to make a flow chart before starting your chapter. You are learning a chapter of science or SST, particularly about these two subjects. You should always go with the flow chart and make your own flow charts. And always remember the scheme, the pattern, the hierarchy of your flow chart. It will help you a lot in learning of the concepts. In this chapter, maybe there will be lots of terms uh, that you are not familiar with. But when you relate the information with your daily life, with the real life experiences, you will find it quite, quite easy. Especially I am talking about the students who belong to Mari, Kashmir or from the hilly areas. They, they, they would uh, learn it very easily. Now I make a flow chart. Earth changes. Earth changes. Our earth is actually constantly changes. And these changes are because of two processes. Because of two processes, one is endogenous, endogenous process. The second one is exogenous processes. Because of these two processes, exogenous and endogenous processes, earth is constantly changing. Right. Here is, I give you a tip, endo means under. Endo means under. Exo means exit or out. Okay. Now here, all the processes which take place under the surface of earth are endogenous processes. And as compared with the second one, exogenous processes, all processes that take place on the surface of the earth are called exogenous processes. In the chapter number 2, in this chapter, chapter number 2, I, I write it here, lesson 2 and that is denudation. And this is grade 7 is SST. Okay. So here in exogenous processes, we find a special process that is denudation. Denudation is the whole concept which is actually explained in this chapter. Denudation has three aspects, three dimensions. And this is its definition as well. First one is breaks down. Breakdown of rocks. It's all about rocks because this is one of the lessons of biology. Oh, sorry, geography. Breaks down of rocks. Second one is downward movements. Downward movement of rocks. First of all, rocks is break, broken down. Second, downward movements of fragments of rocks. And third aspect is transportation of fragments of rocks. Transportation. So these three aspects you keep in mind when you will be learning about denudation. And this is its definition as well. Now we move forward. Denudation is because of three processes. 
it's done. One is weathering. One is weathering process. The second one is mass wasting. This one is second process in denudation. The third process in denudation is erosion. This is our stage 2 in which we come to know about denudation. Denudation is because of the three processes. One is weathering, second is mass wasting, third one is erosion. And these three processes are actually interlinked. And now I'll explain you how these are interlinked. I give you a simple example here with my poor drawing. I'm actually not good in drawing, but just you give an idea about this one. Okay, this is a earth, right? And it's a rock. It's a rock. And first one, rock, because of certain factors, rock is broken down some smaller fragments. Some smaller fragments means pieces, smaller size right so here it breaks down it just into smaller pieces and fragments so this breaking down is actually weathering okay breaking down of rock because of certain factors this is our weathering firstly it happens weathering happens second when there are some pieces definitely it's upside so they're downward downside movements so here if these are uh, pieces so these pieces because of the gravity uh, they got they got downside so these downside movements of fragments of movements of fragments of rocks the pieces of rocks so that's called mass wasting that is ma mass wasting it's our second process in denudation the third one when pieces are here on the land at this side and they are because of certain and uh, some factors they are taken away from one place to another place means their removal of from one place to another place means uh, they are taken away from one place to another place so that transportation transportation of fragments fragments of rock to elsewhere okay to elsewhere that is actually our third one erosion so these processes of denudation is actually interlinked first one is weathering second one is mass wasting and the third one is erosion Okay, now I give some uh, stages name to my flowchart. This is a stage 1. This is our stage 2 denudation. And this one is our stage 3 that is weathering. Now I give here weathering some keywords for the for, for the remembering and recalling, understanding and relating with the definition. Withering is breakdown. Withering is, you may write here, breakdown. Breakdown, definitely it's about rocks. The second one, mass wasting, we'll write here in bracket, downward movement. Downward movement. And in erosion, we will write here in bracket, that is the keyword that is transport. 
transport. So these keywords will relate their definitions and you will easily recall the definition with the relevancy of your keywords. It's an easy trick for learning the definitions. Now we take first process that is weathering. Weathering has three major types. First one is physical. Physical weathering. Second one is chemical chemical or chemical weathering third one is biological weathering so these three processes and types are involved in weathering first one is physical second one is chemical third one is biological this is now our stage 4. This is our stage 4. Now we are on the stage 4 explanations. Now here in mass wasting, we have some details. For saving time, I have already written here the factors involved in physical, in physical weathering. First one is frost action. Frost is ice. Frost action. Second one is pressure release, exfoliation is a key word here mentioned. Thermal pressure, thermal means something with heat. Fourth one is haloclasty halo salt. It's a key word for haloclasty uh, term. Now the fifth one is abrasion. Abrasion is a, is a very easy is a difficult uh, term but its explanation is very easy now this uh, we come on the second one option that is chemical chemical means something chemically involved in breaking down of rocks first one is oxidation something with oxygen solution means something between acids and minerals the third is hydration. Hydro means something with water. It happens. Right. Now in biological, biological type, we got again three categories. One is plant growth. One is plant growth. Second one is animal and plant decay. Animal and plant decay means they are dead, dead bodies the third one is burrowing burrowing decomposers this is the whole gist and a chart of the factors which involve in breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces physical chemical biological and these are the terms are used here i i i, I not give its details in this uh, video i'll give the detail in my next video about this otherwise it get so longer for finish this next we come on the mass fasting mass fasting is in mass wasting, we again have four. We have four sources or types of mass wasting. One is creep. One is creep. Ringna. Creep means something very slow. You may write here slow. The movement, slow movement. Second one is debris flow. Debris flow. Debris is actually Malba. Malba ko kehte The third one is rock, rock fall. Rock fall. Dekhte na motor wave agaira pe ya color ka haar mein unho ne 
लगाई हुई होती हैं मुख्तफ चीज़ें कि कोई ऊपर से पत्थर या कोई चीज़ ऐसी ना गिरे तो रॉक फॉल दैट इज दैट वन नंबर फोर इज रॉक स्लाइट रॉक स्लाइट द पीस इज फ्रॉम द अपर साइड मूव डाउन वन ओके एंड दिस मैस वेस्टिंग इज बिकॉज ऑफ द देर आर सम कॉजेज फॉर मैस वेस्टिंग द कॉजेस वट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ मैस वेस्टिंग कॉजेज इज फर्स्ट वन एज आई टोल्ड यू द ग्रेविटी बिकॉज ऑफ द बिकॉज इफ द थिंग यू फाइंड अप साइड अप अबव द अबव द रॉक एंड इट विल फॉल डाउन सो इट बिकॉज ऑफ gravity it will fall in down second is slope material second is slope material because we are talking about rocks so it is about slopey slope material third one is water the third one causes water because water is also a it's a source of force as well how we take electricity from the force of water now we move on the erosion erosion jis ko urdu mein katao kehte hain now you know in erosion after weathering then we come on uh, mass ma- mass uh, wasting so the third process is now on that is erosion erosion means you know we definitely need some agents some some factors which affect uh, on the transportation of the pieces fragments of the rocks from one place to other so you can you can uh, imagine what could be that sources that agents first one is running water the first one is running water because run uh, water is a force so we need a force to move the particle a fragment from one uh, place to other one we need force so running water is is the reason is the cause of erosion second is moving ice moving ice and the third one is wind the third one is wind wind is also a force so because of these three causes uh, running water moving ice and wind origin occurs dear students this is the flow chart of your lesson two denudation in my next video i'll explain you its uh, uh it's detail and its concept its definition and about something more about these terms i've also added uh, relevant and helpful uh, links in this video uh, kindly check that links also it will also help you to get the clear understanding of these these terms thank you so much